I feel the need, the need for speed. Should we be promoting drugs on this channel? <laughs>
like, right. the, the thing, and then it just like, boo, stopped. And yeah. then and then it tried to pick back up again. Right. And, but it never went, like, it should have carried me even farther. I agree. And it, and it didn't. It felt like a wave you think is going to be a great wave to ride. Yeah. And it turns out it didn't break in any way, shape, or form. You're like, oh, I thought that was going to be don't better. Don't know how that film is. You will let us know yeah, how the film is. Yeah, obviously we don't judge a film by uh, its trailer. I think, I think it's just the, the poorly cut trailer, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe there's other ones that were better because, you know, they released at least two or three. But I'll look up the and, synopsis. And that right. happens sometimes because a studio will be pressed often for a trailer and they've got a date. They need to get the trailer out. And so they'll put together whatever they can and they really can't take the time to make it the way they liked it. I'm not saying this happened, but it could be one of the reasons it didn't... Wazer, 2016. Uh, ...hit us the way it maybe could have. A grief-stricken cop and an amputee grandmaster are brought together by a peculiar twist of fate as part of a wider conspiracy that has darkened their lives. Well, that's... I kind of got that. Yeah. I didn't get the grief-stricken cop aspect, but I got everything else in there. A peculiar twist of fate that they got together. Um... Clearly, his character, Farhan's character, becomes connected to him in such a way he feels like he needs to protect him. I mean, the fact that it's Big B, I'm interested. And in it was Farhan, John Abraham, and it was John Abraham. We yeah, haven't seen I, any of John Abraham stuff yet. Uh, Sorry. Uh, no, we have. Seven Kumaf. He was. In oh, that's right. He was. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that, they would say that doesn't really count. No, it, it doesn't. Um, director is. Uh, say his name for me. But Joy Nambier. And then it was produced by... Ish yeah, Vidu Vinod Chopra. Okay, did Three Idiots, mm -hmm. uh, M -M -M -B -B -S, that one. And the producers were him and Suchit Mukherjee. So, yeah, you're going to have to let us know how this one is, if it's worth a watch. I've seen, it, it's been requested for a long time, and from what I hear, it's like a, a pretty good film, uh, a really enjoyable thriller kind of type film. Yeah. And it's got, you know, Big B. Exactly. Playing oh. Lieutenant Dan. Looks like it had... Uh, I had a. Mm. I don't. I don't know what these numbers mean. Those numbers don't read the count. Those numbers don't really mean anything to me because no. you don't know how it translates to actual rupees. Exactly. And so that's that's. I don't ever look at the uh, the box office. Well, and the IMDb. thing about the IMDb box office with Indian <laughs> films is they don't tell us. We, we don't see what the budget was. Yeah. Which if uh, that's what will tell me if the movie did well. Yeah. If it had a hundred million dollar budget and it made ninety million dollars, it was a loss. Yeah, I don't so, think this was a hundred million. Dollar no, 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 no. I I know that. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I would be how was it? I would be interested to see more of. Uh, say his name for me again. Farhan Akhtar. Yeah, I've really enjoyed him. Was he I, in the Depper film? Heck yeah, he was the main guy looking for his dad. That was the main, the main of the three, and he also was. I mean, he helped produce. His sister directed it, and he and his sister wrote the Deborah film. Was he the one getting married in the Deborah film? No, no, no. He was the one of the three. Rithik is the one who falls in love with yeah, the yeah, yeah, instructor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there's the one who's getting married. He's the one who, while they're on the trip, admits to them that one of the reasons he's there is he's looking for his natural biological father. Oh, and that's when we saw... Um, yes, from a Wednesday. What's his name? Um, Nasseridin Shah. Nasseridin Shah, yeah. Nasseridin Shah. Okay, gotcha. I totally forgot. He yep, was yep. And then I, was, I thought Sky's Pink was the first thing we saw him in. No, no, no. I totally forgot. No, he was very good in the Deborah movie, and he's even better in the Sky's Pink. Uh, but yeah, I would like to see more of it. He was in Dilch at the High. And Dawn. And Dawn. So he's been in quite a bit. Heck yeah. Uh, well, to be in the stature, stature, by 2011, he was able to write and produce the Deborah films. So he's clearly, and to work opposite Big B. Does he have family on. in the industry? Is he uh, somebody that has family? Or is he uh, self-made, kind of like Nawazuddin? Don't know. Um, I a, didn't realize he, he produced, produced Gully Boy. He was a producer on Gully Boy. Wow. Well done. He's clearly doing well for himself. Yep. Wait a minute. Hold on. That's because, go back. Hold on. Why was he in KGF film distribution? He distributed in Hindi, KGF. So, the dude's an epic producer. Wait, go back to Gully Boy. Okay. Uh, the Gully Boy credits, get off of there. There you go. Um, yeah. yeah. I thought so. What? Zoya, who directed Gully Boy, yeah. that's his sister. Oh, they have the same name. Who they collabed with on Deborah together. They have the same name. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Little did we know. Do they have bigger family in the industry? Are they, are they a big family? Kind no of like clue. the... Uh, who's the big family? The um, Kapoor, right? Yeah. That, that family the is massive. The acting family, yes. Uh, where you've got the mom and the dad who are legends and then the son is a legend yeah. now. And, well, not like they are, but... 
Wow, I did not know he was as big of a producer as he is. Me like, neither. Most, a lot like, of his I'm learning right now he helped produce Gully Boy. Which... Produce Rise, Rise with uh, SRK. Yep. Uh, he produced Gold. He produced, He distributed KGF. Produced Gully Boy. Like, the dude's like an epic producer. We, we know nothing. That, yep. I mean, that's nothing new to you guys, obviously. Exactly. <laughs> Bob, oh, he's in Bob Mooka Bob. Looks like he's... Don 2, director, writer, producer of both Don 1 and 2. Heck, let us know what of his we should watch next. <laughs> yeah. Clearly we need to. I didn't even oh, know it was in the day. Wait. Another deeply influential powerhouse of a person in the Indian film industry that we know nothing about. What a shock. You'd think we were only nine months into this. Meh. <laughs>